Hi, my Taurus. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your March 2018 general tarot card reading for um, for Taurus Sun, Moon Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. You can make a purchase there, or if you choose, you could uh, do Cash App, or you can do the Facebook GoFundMe. Yeah. Um, my readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, Same Day Readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. Um, I don't have PayPal. I don't do pre-recorded readings. I don't do email readings. I don't do Facebook readings and I don't do WhatsApp readings. I do readings over the phone, through Skype, or through FaceTime. So these are your five cards. I'm using the, um, the Wildwood Tarot deck. So you've got the five of arrows, frustration. You've got the four of bows, celebration. You've got the six of bows, abundance. You've got the wood woodard, and then you've got the ace of vessels, the water of life. So, um, some of you do have some new things popping up. New engagements, travel, um, uh, parties, celebrations. You guys also have um, exciting new news about new jobs, exciting news about wanting a commitment, exciting news to find out that somebody else wants a commitment with you. Babies are being born. There's just a lot going on for Taurus in the month of March. But I feel like overall, this is all good, positive stuff. Um, but it will bring frustration. Some of you may find out somebody's pregnant. You might be like, you know what? You know, I, I eventually wanted to be a parent or I eventually wanted to have another child or I eventually wanted to do this with you. But I was kind of hoping we would be married first or I was kind of hoping that, you know, my finances would have been a little bit more stable. But I guess we can celebrate. So it's, it's going to be bittersweet for somebody. Also with marriage. There's marriage coming up here. Um, so somebody may be asking you to get married or somebody might be giving you an ultimatum. Like we're doing this now or we're not going to ever be together again. So some of you are being, feel like you're being forced into making a commitment that you, that you wouldn't typically make at this moment. But for the sake of the relationship, you know, the relationship is worth it. It looks like you guys will be saying yes to this. Also ultimatums are coming up. Um, ultimatums with bosses and with, uh, with romantic partners also with, uh, with housing. Um, so for those of you that do have roommates, it's looking like, um, a roommate might be like, okay, you can't be late again on the rent or you have to get out or, you know, you can stay here, but if you bring your boyfriend and girlfriend here, you, you, you can't stay here. You gotta, you gotta go. Somebody's not allowed over here, or you're gonna have to keep the animals in check, or you're gonna have to do this or do that, pull your weight somehow, or you gotta go. The same thing with, with work. Either you pull your weight or you gotta go. Um, this could be you as the boss telling an employee this, or this could be the boss telling you this, or a coworker like threatening to tell on you or something, threatening your stability. I, there is a lot of fire here. So with Sagittarius Leo energy, that could be the person that you're dealing with, or there's a fire sign cross watching this. This is what's going on. For those of you that were um, that were dealing with a Taurus and they were married, or they had a, they had somebody else, or they they had a side chick or a side guy. It's looking like for for some of them, they may be going back back with their their husband or wife or permanent partner. And if you're the side person, they may be leaving you alone. So keep that in mind. I also see that um, that for those of you that were dealing with a Taurus that was very very distant from you, it's because they had a side person. But they're gonna get rid of the side person and end up with you. But if you are the side person, they're not gonna be with you. They're gonna go back to their main. Okay, so. With the Woodward, um, wood, yeah, Woodward. Uh, with this person, it's looking like um, the energy is that of um, of um, of somebody who's able to make things happen. This person knows what they're doing, and they know how to. Well, well, be careful, be careful. They know how to um, to get what they want out of life. They they got a plan. They got an idea in their head. When they focus on something, they go get it. So some of you, you have uh, somebody focused on you. It looks like it could be a fire sign, or it could be a. Um, a water sign. This person is 100% focused on you. They may not have told you this, but they're they're aiming for you. They want you. Um, this person may um, you may see this person staring at you, or you may like be like that person's kind of weird because they seem to always be around or always pop up or always be looking in your direction or or always be striking up conversations with other people right next to you. Um, this person is definitely interested in you. They've set their sights on you. They want you. This person may be older than you. Could be a man or a woman. This person may come across as a little bit rugged. Uh, this person could be a redhead. This person could have brown hair. I'm not seeing any blonde haired people here. It's either red hair, brown hair. I don't even see black hair. I see like brown or red hair. Um, a lot of brown and red hair here. Also, this person could possibly be either, um, 
an African American, this person could be a Latino, this person could be any anything other than Caucasian. This guy right here. Um, yeah. I, I'm seeing I'm seeing somebody with red I'm seeing several people with red hair. I'm seeing like somebody this okay. So for some of you it is a Caucasian, but and they do have red hair, but they could be like not from the States. You know, they could be for like from, from a different country. Um but I do see very, very fair, fair skin with red hair. I see a guy with like a goatee and red hair, but I also see a woman with, with her hair in a, in a long braid. It's red hair. This could be her natural hair color or not. Um, I also do see cold weather climates. Um, and then we do have the Ace of Vessels as your last card. So overall for the month of March 2018 for Taurus, it's looking like this will be a happy month, a successful month. A month where... You know, where, where as the month starts, it's a lot of frustration and a lot of, a lot of um, uproar, a little bit of upset, a little bit of shakeups and dynamics. But for the most part, you're going to ease into it very, very well and you're going to adapt. You're going to adapt quickly and you're going to flow just like the waters of life. You're going to flow into it. Things are going to be at peace. So you, so pretty much for the month of March 2018, you've got nothing to worry about, but there is a lot of Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um... Not really too much earth energy here, except for you, Taurus. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. Ta-ta for now.